This is no ordinary car. It's a dream come true. A car that runs on a cheap, safe fuel that's in limitless supply. The car can be run on any form of natural water. You can use rainwater, well water, sea water, uh, ocean water, and uh, if you don't have ocean water available, you can go ahead and use snow. Uh, just use any form of natural water. You don't process it in any way. You add no chemicals to it. Just use ordinary rainwater. The inventor believes he's found a way of generating some form of atomic power from water. And it was this dream of endless energy from water that was first raised five years ago this week. And there's one person who firmly believes he's beaten the rest of the world to it. Behind these garage doors in Ohio lies, allegedly, the world's first water-powered car, the creation of amateur inventor Stanley Mayer. This dune buggy uh, operates around 65 miles per hour on around 60 miles per gallon of water. It's very efficient as opposed to running on gasoline. One time I was offered well over a billion dollars in, uh, in cold cash to uh, to buy out the technology, to suppress it. Uh, of course, my interest is to get it into the economies of the world and do it very quickly. We have developed the technology over the years and we've legalized the technology and now what we're trying to do is coordinate with industry to design a kit that can be fitted to an existing internal combustion engine, whether it's a gasoline engine or even uh, a diesel engine. His kit is not unlike a cold fusion cell, but with very high voltages applied. Skeptics believe it's no more than a battery storage device, but a New York millionaire is paying to have it all checked out in a secret lab in Boston. Although the car wasn't running when we came to film, pictures were taken earlier by the local TV station.